All right, so it's the next day. Um, I ended up falling asleep while getting the solder stuff set up. Long days at work, but today's Saturday, so I got a little bit of time. So we're gonna get uh, this set up right here. And uh, we're gonna make this happen. So the first thing I like to do, um, Game Changer usually sets up the ends so they plug right into the fan so you won't have to follow it. The only thing you'll have to do when you get a Game Changer regulator is wire it right to the ESC. Now you can wire it to the cap pack, you can wire it anywhere along this wire. It doesn't have to be at the base. It can be anywhere on the red and black wire or if you run a Spectrum system. I prepped this. This is for a Spectrum. So Spectrum has heat shrink here and heat shrink here. And as you see, they wire their cap pack right there and there. You cut the heat shrink off and you just solder your red wire to the orange and your black wire to the black on any Spectrum Arma system. It's very easy. You don't have to strip back uh, the wires because this has shrink tubing over it. You just take your X-Acto knife, cut the shrink tubing off on both sides, and then solder right there. You can tape it, or you can just leave it like that. But I'll tape it, um, or I'll just throw a zip tie over it, which will protect it. And that's on the any spectrum system so on the castle system this one i wired my cap pack a little high and this is a very old soldering job so i'm going to cut this zip tie here you can see i tape them and why is this through my wires so this one i have a Y splitter on for the dual battery system. So right here is where I stripped it before so I'm going to pull my tape back off or you can just take your X-Acto knife cut it. You don't have to take it all the way around just make a little square um, because you don't have to it's only drawing five amps so it's not like you really need to wrap the wire around it or any of that. Just soldering it to it will be plenty. So let me get this unraveled. This RC's seen many, many, many crashes. So that's why I always, I put tape and then I'll throw a zip tie around the tape so the tape can't fully unravel and then when doing a cap pack I've showed this one where I soldered this cap pack onto it the Phil Jolly cap pack my plans are I don't think I'm gonna replace this cap pack because I want to save the flow pack I do have a flow pack cap pack system um, that's much smaller so right here is the flow pack and as you see, this is an 8S flow pack. I run the 6S on 8S because of the size difference. But you can see how short the flow pack is, which I really like. And I definitely like his packaging. So this is how I did this. this I actually stripped the ESC wiring back. I poked a hole and I shoved the cap pack through it because you want the best... Um, contact you can with a cat pack and the wire and as short to the ESC as possible so that's the way I did that so this is literally going to go like this so what I'm going to do is I got my soldering gun warming up so I know I want this here so the black wire is going to go here I'm going to leave it a little long cut it down and the red one it's got to go up there so I'm going to cut just a little bit off of that strip it back twist it 
strip it back. Don't expose a bunch of wire because we're just going to tack this basically to this glob there and there. So what we're going to want to do now is tin these wires since we went ahead and cut them. So that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to go ahead and tin them. And then this is flux. So I just throw a little bit of flux on it, on the wire. And I always use the flux lid to tin and do all kinds of stuff on top of with soldering. That way I'm not burning my table. Now, I recommend soldering this. He does have the option of running an external battery with this. And there's plenty of solder on these wires. If there's no solder, just add a little bit of solder. So, what we're going to do is heat this glob up. black wires on let it cool I'll put our red wire on try to keep it straight facing down the way I want it to go and that's it you don't have to wrap the wire around the ESC wiring it, there's not enough amp draw on this regulator to run these fans to worry about it coming unsoldered if it comes unsoldered that means there's a short in the regulator or something like that and by it coming unsoldered means the regulators drawn too much and there's a problem with it so just like that, nice and secure, they're not going to come off. So we're going to go ahead and take some 3M electrical tape. And I use 3M because it is flexible. And it really gives you a good, good bite. We're going to wrap this back up. That's how easy it is to install the regulator. Somebody was asking how to install it. You can do it at the base. You can do it at the top. You just don't want to do it at your Y. You want to do it down off the two wires coming off the ESC. You don't want to do it on any of the Ys or any of your splitters up here. You just don't want to mess with anything up here. Because if you wire it wrong up here, um, you could be putting too much power into, into this. So... Um, because one is power, one is ground. You might not get enough power to it. It's just not worth messing with. So the easiest way and the foolproof way is to wire basically right to the ESC. And as you see, it's really simple to do. And that's why I keep telling people this is literally the best way. And if you notice, Arma does it too. Arma basically puts... Here's the Arma system, and this little cap pack that's zip tied to the ground wire, if you look, they're soldered right there. It's not wrapped around. And then the orange wire is soldered right there, and it's not wrapped around. So we're doing the same thing with the same gauge wire that Arma's doing with this little tiny cap pack. So like I said, the regulator is wired up just like a capacitor pack that you would put on any ESC. So ground and power, just like Arma did. 
So Arma's easy because you just cut off the shrink tubing. They've already stripped the wire, everything for you, and it's nice and clean. So once I once I do that, just to ensure that that this doesn't come unraveled in dirt or any of that kind of stuff. I throw a zip tie around. That way, your your uh, tape will never come unraveled. It's something I do in automotive too. If I tape, if I solder a tape, then I'll throw a zip tie around the connection. And like this one, I'll throw a zip tie around both sides. Of my solder joint and then the other one I'll throw it on the other side like this zip tie just so the wire doesn't get tugged out so I'll throw it on the tape and the wiring and now it won't have any room to unravel the tape now if you're doing a brand new ESC and you don't have a connector on it you can slide shrink tubing down it. You know what I mean? So um, that's a better way, but this is a way if uh, if you already have a connector on, just go ahead and tape and, uh, and use a zip tie. So that's how you would wire up the regulator. Now this end will just plug right into your fans when Game Changer sends them to you. Me, because this was a prototype regulator, I'm going to have to solder on an N to run to this fan system. It's a 3S plug. So there we go. Got a balanced port for that one. Now this part you won't have to do because Game Changer will send it to you with, uh, with the fan and regulator if you buy them together. Um, he'll send them to you with the proper... And then the way I mount this... All I do is do the length of it like this. Where's, I don't have any straight scissors. I like to cut this straight, but whatever. This is some um, extremely strong true lock or sure lock or whatever they call it. You can buy it at Home Depot. Then I'll cut it in half. Then I'll clip it together. And we will peel one end, stick it to the regulator, and peel the other end. And then this is a little dirty. Normally, I use alcohol. We're going to sure lock it down where I made the cut. And then this, we're going to end up zip tying this back through here, like this. We're going to zip tie right here. So the wires both come out the same end. Tuck that down behind the regulator. And then we're gonna cut this off. So I need to figure out Should be the two ends, I believe. But we are going to test it. These wires are so thin that I don't even use strippers. The regular wires are coating is a little bit better, so I do use strippers on those. So let me make sure that uh, that the fans work off that. Hopefully this pack's not dead. So I'm going to twist these up. 
and this is going directly to the fans so red black yeah this pack's dead but yep those are the two wires so the other two we're gonna cut short because I don't need them Have some shrink tubing. So we're going to throw our shrink tubing on on each wire. And then what I'll do is I'll twist them together because they're so small. And then I can solder and bend them and then cover them. So I've got a nice strong bond. in my wire make sure I cover the whole wire now this part like I said you won't have to do because game changer will do all this and he'll do it much nicer than I'm doing these were just prototypes and it's something that uh, that I ended up doing just to test this I didn't want him to set it up because I might have had to make changes for my rigs once I got the shrink tubing on there just like that nice and simple and now it's wired to my fans and my fans plug right in. So once I do that, then I can actually wrap all this up. Now when I just plug in my batteries, it should turn the fans on immediately. I don't put switches, I don't put anything. I know uh, some people like switches. Um, for me, I just it's one more thing to go bad and I just don't need it. Little connections as possible. Plus the cleaner the RC is. Simplicity for my builds. Just like that. We're going to clip those three little zip ties. Don't clip the antenna. Because then your radio won't work right. That's it. It's all wired up we're gonna put that back six inch zip ties and I'm gonna zip tie this back to the brace like I said we went ahead and changed the center support brace and this is a ripple killer cat pack I don't make them sharp like RC Guy Garage because I don't want to cut my fingers. And that's it. So let me grab some uh, batteries and uh, we'll plug in, say, 6S and 8S and see how this joint works. So here's my little Y. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 6S real quick. We can do 8S too, it doesn't matter. And the fans are on. That's all you need to do.
So that's 6S, and I'll show you right now. Here we go, 11.1, 11.1, 52 hundredths. Well, what happens if you want to do 8S? Let's plug in 8S. Look at that. Regulator makes the change, turns on your fan. So whether you want to run 6S or 8S or 4S or 3S or, you know, any of that. Anything your ESC will handle, um, the fans will turn on. Now, and this regulator runs from 3S to 8S. So that'll cover everything that I'll do with this RC. And I won't have to worry about it no more. And that's the great thing about having a regulator is that I'm not putting another battery pack on here. I'm keeping things simple, keeping everything tight so that... Uh, put this down in here. So I like to keep everything nice and tight and low, especially on a limitless. And I'll run my batteries backwards and right to my Y. Um, and that's it. Uh, if I want to run a single pack, I'll show you right here. So, say we want to run 4S, right? We'll grab a 4S pack, and we'll plug it right in. And it still works our fans. And there we go, guys. 4S, 6S, 8S. So whatever I want to run on this RC now, because this is my test RC, I'll be able to run uh, with no limitations and my fans will just come on. I won't have to worry about, do I have the right connector? Do I have a small 3S pack? Do I have a small uh, 4S pack charged up that I have to zip tie somewhere on here? I don't have to deal with it no more. You know, it's all, it's all pretty much done. So, and then we're still able to keep everything underneath this cover. Oh, I'll have to turn my fans down a little bit to get them under the cover. My fans are sitting up too high. They have to be at a 90. So in order for my fans to sit lower, I'll have to flip them around. that and that'll go that way so now my fans are low and the limitless body goes on there we go guys and we still have plenty of room to the fans so that they could breathe and that's it this is my test RC this is uh, the one I thrash on for a limitless and we're going to give this 1650 KB 1520 motor a rip. And we'll see how it does. Got some Game Changer fans on it. And a Mamba Monster X. And it runs on everything. And I don't have to deal with wiring up fans every time. So there we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you like the video. We'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.